Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can go ahead and farm the Phoenix airdrop. Now Phoenix is an Ethereum layer 2 and they have managed to raise the overall funding of around 22 million US dollars. Now in this video, in order to farm the Phoenix airdrop, we will be deploying a contract on the Phoenix network and there are some additional steps that you have to do for potentially farming this airdrop. Now the team haven't announced uh, any airdrop as of yet. But I personally feel that uh, they should do a airdrop and this should be a decent airdrop. Now before we move on to Phoenix airdrop farming, if you want to buy coins and tokens and also deal in futures, you can sign up on Bybit using my referral link which will give you the highest tier of rewards which is up to $30,000 or alternatively you can use my referral code as Crypto505. And if you want a crypto content in Hindi or Urdu language, you can subscribe to my another channel Altcoin India Hindi. Now if we go to their website and check as you can see in the latest uh, funding round they have managed to raise around 15 million US dollars and before that they had raised around 7 million US dollars. Now in order to farm this uh, Phoenix airdrop all you have to do is you will need to go ahead and add the Phoenix Helium chain to your metamask wallet. So simply go to chainlist.org all these links in the description so that it would be easy for you guys to navigate. Simply search for Phoenix over here and click on add to metamask wallet. Now once Phoenix network is added to your metamask wallet, if you don't have Cephalia Ethereum on your metamask wallet, you can request for some Cephalia Ethereum on alchemy.com or maybe you can mine some Cephalia Ethereum on Cephalia faucet over here. Now once you have this Cephalia Ethereum, all you have to do is you will need to go ahead and bring some Ethereum from Cephalia to Phoenix Helium over here. So as you can see, uh, there is one pending transaction. But before this, I have already completed this. Now this transaction is also over. Now as you can see in my Metamask wallet, I have like around 0.3 TFHE. So all you have to do is you will need to go to GitHub over here and simply copy this code on my GitHub. So I will go ahead and copy this. And now all you have to do is you will need to go to Remix over here, create a new workspace and maybe you can name it Phoenix over here. Phoenix Helium we will name it and click on OK. Now over here, simply go to contacts over here and create new file and we'll name it Phoenix and press on enter. Now simply go ahead and paste the contact over here and go to the Solidity compiler over here and over here you can select anything between 0.8.19 to 0.8.25. So I have selected this 19. So I will simply go ahead and compile this code over here. So as you can see, now the code has been compiled. Now we'll need to go ahead and deploy this on our Metamask wallet. So simply select this drop down over here and you can go ahead and select this injected provider Metamask. Now once you do this, simply go ahead and click on deploy over here and accept this on your Metamask wallet and wait for a transaction to be over. So as you can see, now the transaction is over. Meanwhile, you can also go to your Metamask wallet over here, click on contract and click on blockchain explorer and wait for it to load and as you can see the transaction has been successful on the helium network over here which you can go ahead and check on the helium explorer so these are some of the steps for now as to how you can go ahead and farm the phoenix helium airdrop and this is all for this video and in case if you have any doubts and questions please feel free to leave a comment i would be more than happy to help you hope you like my video thank you for watching